Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Killing Me Softly by Roberta, well it's not by Roberta Flack, but the Roberta Flack version. It's got a beautiful chord progression, it's relatively easy to play, I've put a few little jazzy bits in it, uh, but I've made it easy to play. Um, so I'm going to teach you that today, just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, and leave me some comments in the comment section, let me know what you think of the video, let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can support me on Patreon. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'll put loads of tabs on there for songs as well, so go and check that out. My guitar is in standard tuning and I've got a capo on fret number one. Now there's there's two parts to the song really, you've got a chorus and a verse. There's also a little interlude which we'll show. Um, but the very first chorus is played just really stripped out, so you don't play any strumming pattern. I'm going to add a strumming pattern when we get to the verse. Um, so this first chorus goes like this. So for that, we're going to play an E minor chord. Uh, but you could play just a normal E minor chord if you want, uh, which is just A2 and D2. But it sounds nice because the melody note is starting on this E3. So if we add that E3 on the top, then it sounds nice. Or sounds nicer than taking it off. Still an E minor chord. So you've got E minor. The next chord we need is an A minor 7 which is your first finger on B1, second finger on D2. You're going to play from the A string downwards. Next chord is a D chord, which is your second finger, E2, first finger on G2, and third finger on B3. Playing from the D string downwards. The fourth chord, you might not have come across this one, is a G major 7 chord. First finger, E3 nearer to your face. Second finger on B3. Third finger, A4. Little finger on D4. Um, and hopefully your first finger will mute off the A string so it won't ring. Then you just play down from the E string down to the B string. The E string nearest to the floor is muted off as well. And then we've got E minor. And uh, bar six is an A slash C sharp, which is your third finger on A4. Remember you've got a cap on fret one, so we're actually on fret five, or where normally fret five is. So first finger A4, and your first finger goes across the D, G, and the B strings at the third fret. Now you could just play a normal A chord, but it sounds good to get the C sharp in the bass there. Next bar is uh, bar seven, we've got a D chord. Bar eight is a C chord, which is your first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger A3, play from the A string downwards. Then we do a normal G chord. Uh, I'm putting my little finger E3, third finger on B3, second finger on E3 near to your face, and first finger on A2. For that chord you can play any type of G chord you want. And then it goes back to a C chord. And then we've got F major 7. Exactly the same shape as I had for the G major 7, but just move down to the first fret. So your first finger's E1, second finger B1, third finger on D2, little finger on G2. And in this first verse, there's two bars of F major 7. Uh, sorry, on this first chorus. There's two bars of F major 7, but I only play the first one and hold it through um, the two bars when you play this first chorus. When we put the rhythm in, you do two bars straight. And then the last chord is an E major this time, which is your first finger G1, second finger A2, third finger D2. So let's try that first chorus. Here we go, ready, and. Two, three, four. Two, three, 
And then we get this little interlude part, which just goes. So for that, we're playing bar 15, open G, open uh, D, so open D, open G, and B3 at the same time. So just put a finger on B3. Then play the E string, B3, E, B3, E, B3, E. So bars 15 and 16 go. And bar 17 and 18 is almost the same, but just the, um, the second note is a qu quaver earlier than it was before, so it goes. Um, and those bars 17 and 18 repeat round three times before it takes us to the verse. Um, so verse, A minor seven chord for a bar, D for a bar, G major seven for a bar, C for a bar, A minor seven, D, then E minor for two bars, but I've also written in the, in the first verse it plays this open E string, so we're in bar 26. So you play the E string, then E3 nearest to the floor, E5, and E7. It's quite a nice little line just to put in. Uh, and it's easy to play. Then A minor seven for a bar, D for a bar, G major seven for a bar, and then the last chord is a B7 chord, which is your little finger, E2, third finger on G2, second finger on A2, and first finger on D1, and you play from the A string downwards. Um, and we're gonna put some rhythm in this. So on every chord, apart from the, the one that we put in bar 26, where you put the little melody, but for every bar, we're gonna go down, down, up, up, down. So A minor seven will go, down, down, up, up, down. So let's put that rhythm in um, to the whole line. Here we go. Three, four. And then that takes us to the chorus, which is exactly the same as we did before, but now we're gonna put the rhythm in. So here we go, three, four. And then it just jumps to the verse and then the chorus, verse, chorus till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. It's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful version of it. Uh, go and check it out if you haven't heard it. Uh, if you have enjoyed this little lesson, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video as well. And please leave me some comments, some feedback. Uh, let me know where in the world you're from, what you thought of the video, what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can support me on Patreon. Uh, I'll also put the tabs for this on there uh, so you can print them out. Well, thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.